Sean Coffey from Ritchie, and this is the 2013 Ritchie Superlogic C260 Carbon Stem. This is a new product for us. It uses the C260 clamp that we uh, also feature on our aluminum WCS C260 stems. Uh, we originally developed C264, a full carbon stem. Uh, there's some uh, major sprinters in Europe that we were working with a few years back with the Omega Pharma Lotto team, Andre Greipel and Philip Jobert. They wanted a stem that was uh, as stiff as a track stem, but uh, worthy of the road. So we looked at developing a full carbon stem for those guys, but needed to devise a clamp like the C260 because it helps us uh, maintain and actually increase stiffness, but reduce weight. You don't have to have inserts at the thread points, which usually cause problems with the carbon stem, since our bolts thread from the other direction straight into the faceplate. The structure of the stem also supports the bar very effectively, allowing for us uh, to remove material, but actually increase stiffness overall. So uh, this stem is very, very close to any of the top track stems that you'll see, like the Pro Vibe. A lot of those stems push uh, up near 200 grams. This at the same, virtually the same stiffness, you're talking about 120 grams, 125 grams. So it's an incredible stiffness to weight story. So if you're a road sprinter, big guy, and you're looking for really a very stiff stem that's also still very light, uh, this is gonna be the way to go. Uh, this is going to be available in December from Ritchie. Uh, you'll be able to check it on the website soon. It's going to be retailing for uh, $2.99. And this is the 2013 Trail 2X Bar. Uh, this is a new product line for us. Uh, Ritchie's historically always been a mountain bike racing company since the very beginning. Uh, this year, we're really focusing on not just the racing products we've always done, but a line of wider, more size-appropriate products for trail bikes, five-inch travel, six-inch travel type bikes, guys that are riding hard, going fast, but they want wider bars, and stiffer setups overall. Uh, the 2X bar is the first of those selections. Uh, this has got a number of unique features. First of all, it's one of the wider bars we make. This is a 710. Uh, we now make bars all the way up to 740. Uh, but the 2X bar is unique in that it's actually two bars in one. As a flat bar, the center section, the uh, oversized section is actually offset. So it can either offer a five millimeter up sweep or rather a five millimeter rise or five millimeter drop, depending on which way it's flipped. And the graphic, of course, works either way. Uh, this is a great setup for longer travel bikes, uh, even some free ride bikes, perhaps, where you've got a longer travel fork pushing the front end up, you want to get a little bit lower. It's especially good for 29ers where you've got a tall front end and you want to get that drop a little bit. But really, for any mountain bike, it's great because it allows you another level of size adjustment. Uh, this is going to be available for $169.99. It weighs about 180 grams, and it should be in stores by November. To accompany our new line of wider trail bars, we also developed a WCS trail step. Uh, this has a number of features that make it uh, really the right setup for a trail bike compared to what we already had in our line. It's available in a number of shorter lengths, uh, down to 60. It's also a zero rise, so instead of being a positive or negative uh, six degree like most of our other stems, it's got a wider face plate, it's got larger bolts than our normal C260 stem does, but it's got a C220 clamp. And what that does is it allows you a lot of the benefits of a C260 stem in that it overwraps with the front of the bar, so it allows more support of the bar, so you can have a little bit less clamping force, and you get increased stiffness over the whole body of the stem. But it also works a little bit easier in terms of mounting uh, riser bars where you've got various rises. That's a very beefy square body. It's actually the stiffest stem overall in the Ritchie line. And uh, this is available for $99.99, and it comes in this uh, really sleek, understated, we call it blatt because it's a matte black uh, finish. This will be in stores in January. This is uh, our 2013 P650B mountain bike. Uh, this is an important story for us. As it turns out, Tom Ritchie has been a big believer in 650B for a very long time. This is an earlier 650B bike that Tom Ritchie built. This one was actually built in 1980. He built 650B bikes as early as 1977 with knobby tires, just like this one, uh, very similar to uh, you know, what people are starting to make now. Uh, Tom's always felt that the 650B wheel size was a really great compromise in terms of uh, just the overall feel of a wheel that'll roll over bumps well, but it still is very responsive and light. So uh, we've been a fan of 650B for a long time. The reason why it really never took off to begin with is uh, what we hear is that 26 inch wheels were not required to pay a duty when importing. So it was actually more expensive to sell a 650B wheel than 26. So that's why things have worked out the way they are. But uh, this is 2013, it's no longer a problem. So Richie is gonna be offering a full 650B frame and fork. Uh, we're also gonna be offering wheels and tires. 
This bike is equipped with the uh, WCS Vantage 2 wheel in a 650B size. It's a very, very light aluminum wheel. It's 1587 grams for the set. They come with titanium skewers. Uh, the rear is available in a standard QR9 or a 142 by 12. The front is also QR9 or 15 millimeter. Uh, they are tubeless ready. It's our own rim profile with the uh, traditional OCR Ritchie design. So the rim is actually offset to balance spoke tension in the rear. Uh, they come with our own tubeless kits and tape ready to go. And uh, these are going to be $7.99 retail. And uh, you should check them out at the Ritchie website. To accompany our new 650B wheels and fork and frame, we also have the WCS Shield tire now available in a 27.5 by 2.1, or if you prefer, a 650B by 52 size. Uh, this is a dual compound tire. This is a very uh, low, uh, low rolling resistance tread. We designed specifically for the uh, Swiss Power team. So it's low knob height, high knob density, dual compound, so it's got sticky rubber here. It's really designed to roll fast on hard pack, kind of all around conditions. Uh, like any other Ritchie mountain bike tire, it is a VFA tread, so every angle corresponds with either a cornering or a braking force or angle. So it's really designed to be a very predictable tire. Uh, these will be available in December and $69.99 MSRP, and they are also tubeless rate. This is the new Ritchie Z-Max Evolution in a 29 by 2.1 size. This is a uh, historic and timeless tread for Ritchie. This is one of the original VFA treads, vector force analysis. That meaning that every knob, every angle, every shape corresponds with a cornering or braking or accelerating force. It's not just a collection of knobs on rubber. Every knob here is working for you to get the most traction at various lean angles, and whether you're accelerating, braking, cornering, cornering hard, it's got an amazing feel to it in terms of being very predictable, having uh, traction that you can really notice on a variety of surfaces. This tire is really kind of set up for anything from loose and rocky conditions to uh, relatively soft and loamy conditions, and it also works quite well in hard pack. This is one of the winningest treads in the mountain bike world. In fact, uh, the Swiss Power guys have been riding this tread recently in Europe, and uh, I think it was the Swiss National Championships. Uh, Andre Frischneck, Thomas Frischneck's son, uh, won his category racing on this tire. So it may very well be the longest winning history uh, tread out there. Uh, this particular tire is, as you can see, available in a 2.1, which for a 29 is a great size. It's a little bit narrower. Uh, it's a WCS uh, casing, so it's a very supple, lightweight, high TPI casing. 630 grams in a 29. It's tubeless ready, and this will be going for $69.99.